Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at a different type of EV charger and you might be a business owner that's after buying some company cars and you're trying to figure out where you're going to charge them. Do you need a grid upgrade? Do you need a big DC unit put in place and never going to be able to move it again? You also may be a business owner looking to transition their van fleet to electric and here we have the Maxxis E-Deliver 9. And again, which depots do you put them in? Where in the depots do you put them in? Lastly, you may be a bus operator looking to transition your fleet to electric. You may also be a bus company that bought electric buses and didn't put in the chargers. If you know who I'm talking about, jump into the comments. If you know who the, somebody within that company, make sure you share this video. Today we're going to look at the Kemp Power T-Series portable DC charger. Let's get into the details. So we're here with the Kemp Power T-Series and specifically in Ireland with Solutions EVs, they are the sales and service, exclusive sales and service partner for Kemp Power in Ireland. And what we're going to talk about is the input, the output, the features, all of the benefits of using something like this rather than having to upgrade your grid connection in the building or wherever you're charging your cars, your vans, or even your buses. Uh, so let's look at what it takes to power the T-Series. So what we have here is you have to be in a commercial building that has three phase in the UK and Ireland. It's usually a commercial building on the continent. You, a majority of wiring is all three phase. And so you need a minimum of a 32 amp outlet or this one we have here is a 63 amp outlet. You can see the socket here. And then the cable that joins this from the wall to the actual T-series itself is five meters. So you can run off a 32 amp and that will output 20 kilowatt or you can run off a 63 amp and that will output 40 kilowatt. Again, singularly or split. So the unit itself is 120 kg. It's on wheels, so it is movable, but you can lock it to the ground. You can put it into a cage. Uh, for it to charge, it always has to be plugged in. So it has to be five meters within the actual output. So that can be an internal out, uh, socket or it can be an internal or external socket. Uh, it's got the same touch interface as the Kemp Power satellite series that you will see in some of the public charging networks. Uh, you can have, this is a single CCS, but you can have that as a dual gun. It can be CCS, CHAdeMO, AC, whatever way, a combination you'd like of that. You've got the start buttons. It has got the QR code on it as well, so you can walk away from it. Um, it's got some branding here for Solutions EV, but that can be branded up to whatever you want. And then on the side, you'll see some status LEDs with a single output. This will show, you'll turn blue when it's charging and it will, at a glance, you'll see that it is the state of charge in the vehicle that's charging. If it's two vehicles, they're gonna be separated out. You can see either side. So it'll give you an indication of whether how full it is or how not it's full it is. Do everything via the app. NFC can be integrated with a the charge point operating system or back office system the likes of Monta can be integrated with it uh, and this can be a this is currently a five meter cable but you can get a seven and a half meter cable as well uh, depending on what the what what's what you need for your vehicles and how big those vehicles are so that is the Kempower t-series um, perfect environment for it so you might not need a grid connection you may need to upgrade you might not need to upgrade what you're currently getting but you want to introduce that electric feet be that cars be that vans be that buses and so then with the t-series with the wheels on the side of it obviously it is portable to an extent so having sockets around the building and around the premises rather than having your dc charger in situ never to be moved again um, make sure that's unplugged tip it back uh, as 120 kgs so super movable. If you've got any comments, drop it in to the comment below. Uh, make sure you like the video and share. And remember, if you think an EV charger is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.